So Iwan Gunawan is a Bandung composer, musician, educator, and music director. He is among West Java's leading composers today. He began playing Sundanese gamelan at the age of six. During his music studies, he focused not only on his native Sundanese traditions, but also on Western conventions. He has forged an unusual music career, which places value on both his own West Javanese roots, as well as on composing and performing Western music at a professional level. In his compositions, he uses contemporary structures, international instrumentation, and sometimes live electronics, engaging with a wide range of music made today from vernacular to hybrid experimental forms. We're, we're very proud and happy to have Iwan here tonight. Thank you, Matt. <clears throat> You're welcome. Thank you for coming. Good evening for everyone. In here still in the morning. <laughs> I, I couldn't yes. sleep because very exciting with, with this event. So I'm uh, so glad to meet everybody here. So uh, let's just share the screen. Actually, when when <clears throat> the first uh, Andrew uh, talk and discuss about this uh, event, so I'm very confused. What should be title? And then yeah, Andrea also gets me to 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 put this this title. So uh, for me. The important, the important thing for uh, for this this presentation, I actually I would like to share about my experience or uh, my idea about the tuning system. This is what and, uh, until now I I'm still researching about it. Why? Because in in our culture, especially in Sundanese culture. Sundanese music, especially, is very important to to work with the tuning because there are many, many, many system tuning in in uh, Sundanese, and somehow uh, in the music we can pound in the I mean in the Sundanese music we can pound how in the one piece they can use more one one more the, the, the tuning system or we call it laras so this is the the, the basic, basic inspiration uh, what i am still researching about that so for example let's maybe we can listen a bit about the uh, the sundanese repertoire uh, this 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 uh, piece uh, from Tembang Sunda, but what interesting is just ex ex one example. The interesting how uh, the the laras or the tuning system, the like two or three different tuning system can combine simultaneously. Something like that. Maybe I can uh, I can try to listen it to check. Uh, my, my my the audio from my computer. If doesn't work, maybe uh, Matt can help me. Please listen. Thank you. 
And here, if if we, we we just focus to 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 the tuning system like the kecapi and uh, kecapi indung and kecapi rincik use slender system, but rebab can change any laras and this song also create with the multi laras. Sometimes we can hear the laras madenda, laras slender, sometimes dekung or something something interesting to me. And this phenomenon is very familiar in Sundanese music, uh, mainly in the tradition music. This is the, the basic. What what I I, I realized when when uh, I starting studying the Sundanese music. In the second hand, I'm I'm also study Western music. Uh, what I interest when when I start uh, study piano, let it, this is one piece from Schoenberg. For me, the tuning is very, very confused for me, but also is very interesting. And then, etc. Cetera, et cetera, I, I I wouldn't talk about the Western music, but. In the Western music, what I, I interesting that is some 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 issue like the atonalism, serialism, aleatoric, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, something like that. And also in the modern modern music today in Western music, also there is lot of the the, the micro tuning system. What, yeah, in gamelan of this this micro tuning system is 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 not not new. This is like old old thing. We, we know about that, but in 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 the modern composition again, uh, I, I I found a lot of the Western composer focus about that. So this phenomenon also uh, gave me some some new idea, like how to create new laras or new tuning system using gamelan. There is many many, many uh, musician in in Sundanese also uh, similar idea like 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 me like sometime uh, for example my 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 friend uh, musician is Metro Himat also and 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 friends uh, had created some like diatonic diatonic system like Western system but with gamelan and. Many order to always to adapt to uh, Western uh, Western tuning, also like uh, Sintaulur. Also, she creates uh, like uh, chromatic tuning for the gamelan. But I just think how I can create new laras tuning. But I I want to I, I don't want to change the the the, the skill of of the uh, gamelan. For example. If I create using Pelog Cylindro, how I can build with with the original uh, original tuning, but the composition will be something else about the tuning. So in 2010, I was 
got some commission from the International Gamelan Festival Amsterdam, uh, Tropen Theater, and they asked me to make arrangement uh, six marimbas from Steve Fry. So this is very very challenge for me. How to do that? So I make some research how to to make adaptation. Because the the cifra, the the six marimbas, okay, we, we already know using chromatic system, and how we can adapt with the gamelan, and we we it's not possible to use the chromatic gamelan, and I just think how uh, uh, the, the 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 Western tuning what cifra is used to adapt in 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 uh, gamelan pelog cilindro. So after that. I have some some something I would like to share. So, this is not exactly. This is just adaptation. I I try to 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 find out the the bit the interval is not exactly, but it's more or less something like that. So, if we come, if we adapt the the chromatic system with twelve tune, so I have ten tunes now. Something like that. So the result of the stiff fry, how how I can update? Maybe we can listen this this piece. Yeah, I think quite long, but maybe we can listen until uh, until end and see how how the result of this this, this idea.
After this work is already performed, and then I, the next year, I have uh, the another project, especially the collaboration project with the Lane Rubana. So uh, I try to 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 develop the idea, the the, the to to create the tuning uh, to new tuning system. I mean, with something something for me also personally is confused so that's why i i i give the title this piece called no name and nothing because i don't know how i can give name and also i don't know what is this the music okay but uh, i apologize maybe uh, this 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 recording is not so good but this is just just for example uh, this is short piece, I think. The, I already uh, edited that this, this is just a chart. So, but the main idea about uh, I interesting to, to to create something unstable and stable rhythm, something dissonance tuning, but also the the the, the, the important thing in the gamelan like charukan, kotekan, imbalan, something like that. Also, I, 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 I like to develop about something random, randomized tuning, or maybe a bit connection with the atonalism and etc. etc. <laughs> I will continue, and the next is 
uh, the last project in 2016. Uh, of course, uh, when we starting this project, we talking and we discussing much about this this idea with the the choreographer. It was Haryono Rubana. Uh, we work uh, make collaboration with Lane Rabani Dance Company, and uh, yeah, after the success of the Ghost Track. And uh, Haryo Rubana asked me, "What do next?" And I told this this idea, and we, yeah, discussing everything. And I make some some demo from my computer uh, before realized that. And uh, Haryo Rubana very uh, interest about that. And yeah, we we realize with with the the, the project, and we we have. Uh, long period to 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 starting until premiere and then uh, maybe we can see uh, three pieces uh, the, the music or the pieces part of the part of the light called the the, the, the performance called is like first is gamelan soundscape so the gamelan soundscape i mean I try to more more uh, back to the nature or something like that, and and how we we can we can we can uh, create the music from gamelan, but it's like yeah natural, but uh, I focus for for to 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 create the some some sound from the suling Sudanese suling, yeah, but. Like like uh, the idea from the to, to produce the extended sound, maybe this what what mean the extended sound is I just try out to 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 create the 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 the, the, the sound of suling is not like I mean untraditional, maybe it's similar like sakuhachi or whatever we, uh, would win, but I try this is from 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 uh, suling Sundani suling I mean, and of course again the atonalism, and now I I I try to to adapt about the modern harmony concept in Western mean, but how the modern um, harmony in, in in Western to adapt in 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 the gamelan with pelog cylindro. Uh, Gamlan soundscape and the minute, the second piece is like again I I interesting about the cycling, like minimalism, and but how how to to cycling using some charukan or kotekan with the like aleatoric like randomized something, and also there is. Are interesting to develop about the rhythm, like multi-layer rhythm, and because Len Rubana uh, asked me to use voice, but I choose not not song, but I I interesting to to uh, build the 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 sound of voice, that means the sound and the talk, and the third piece is ply. Ply is yeah, this is just title. I don't know exactly. I can describe and uh, to to give a good detail for for this. But uh, this piece also my challenge when Len Rubana asked me to create music with the opera singer. So when I create this melody uh, for this song, and then sometimes I make some unisono with the chromatic system in the Western because. In in fly also I use uh, the the piano piano and also harp so I I, I use the, the chromatic system but again how to adapt based on the basic inspiration what I uh, talk in the beginning but also in the piano sometimes there is more jazzy sometimes crazy or excite something like that maybe three pieces. We, we we can listen uh, directly and then I will continue. Thank you. 
Thank you. 
Okay, the last piece. So, the last piece, uh, yeah, before we can discuss, the last piece also now is, uh, for me, is very hard now because uh, now this piece is uh, really work with the, with the uh, I mean, atonalism tuning. Yeah, maybe you, you yeah. Most of you maybe know about this piece, those notation by Pirbules. The, the background is uh, actually Len Rubana already create the choreography uh, of this music, but again they ask, can you join with the gamelan? And yeah, we don't have time. We didn't have time. It was uh, so. This is just maybe four or five days, and I don't have time. I didn't have time to write down and. I just something something make uh, instant arrangement. So uh, each player just have the the original notation by Pudibules, and then they just create the 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 knot like use uh, uh, numeral knot like in in Sundanese called damina, and then we we play it and label play it. This is the, the, just the back.
So that's that's it. I hope my music can talk something to you, and maybe we can discuss. And if you need some explaining for me, but this is what 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 I think, and I I would like to share and discuss uh, with you about my idea, uh, my ideas about about the the tuning system in in the uh, to develop tuning system in in gamelan. Thank you. Thank you, Ivan. So now we, we were at the halfway point of the evening, but we're going to take a question and answer now for Iwan. So if you have a question, uh, put your name in the chat box and we will we'll call on you. Um, I just want to say that thank you for sharing those, uh, those examples. Um, fascinating stuff. Um, I don't have a ton of experience playing new music on Gamelan, um, but I love to hear it. And I my first question is, um, you know, a lot of those videos were showing um, composition that were done with uh, Javanese gamelan and uh, not a Sundanese uh, gamelan. So I'm, I'm curious if you are usually composing for Javanese, uh, central Javanese style gamelan, or you're also doing Sundanese uh, style gamelan uh, new compositions with those instruments. Okay, this question is very often I hear, <laughs> and <clears throat> uh, for me, the gamelan is just instrument. This is just medium to compose music. And uh, what I think, the differences of the Javanese and, and uh, Sundanese is the grammatic music, the musical of uh, uh, grammatic, I mean, the grammatically. Uh, we, we have some history. Uh, we we already agree. Maybe I I have opinion. If we uh, just hear the quality of sound, yeah, the quality of sound like the structure of Perton between the the, the Sundanese gamelan uh, who made in 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 yeah Sunda area or in Balung, for example, and the the, the gamelan created by. Uh, uh, from Surakarta or Yogyakarta, I agree the quality in, in, in Sunda is lower. Yeah. But it's, for me, it doesn't matter. But we are happy when, when uh, like, like in uh, school uh, of Karawit and SMKI called when I was studying here, and they get by government the Japanese gamelan. Some people is, didn't agree because it's not our gamelan. This is a Japanese gamelan. But the the the, the components uh, in Sundan is uh, Mangkoko. He take it and he create new music using J uh, Japanese gamelan. Until then, I am personally doesn't matter use Japanese or Sundanese gamelan. But for me, now with Japanese gamelan, like like we we have something new new thing. Because we will still have the Sundanese, like Slendro or Degum, but Pelog anyway. We, I mean, the Pelog is come from Javanese. We have Degum, but it's different than Pelog. But again, I, I, I just thought it doesn't matter for me because the Gamelan, Javanese Gamelan and Sundanese Gamelan, the difference is like, uh, just about the musically, not the instrument. Because, you know, like, we we have the musician like uh, I forgot the name Mang Adang, Mang Adang is the violin, violinist, violin, violinist. Yeah, yeah. We know violinist maybe come from east or from from, from west, but when he play is like just Sundanese music. Also in 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 Cirebon we have Tarling. They use acoustic guitar or electric guitar from Western, but but when they play. It's not like Western. So for me, what's problem if I, I, I use Japanese gamelan? Thank you. Thank you for the answer. And um, just to let you know, in, in one of our previous lectures, we had a lecture on Sherbonese music and Richard played uh, for us some of the Tarling music. So people that are here are, are a little familiar with it now. Um, the next question we have is from Pak Sumarsam. Hello, you, Pak Sumar Sam. Uh, Mas Iwan, salam kenal. I'm Pak Sumarsam. I'm happy to uh, 
meet you even though in the cyberspace and to listen to your uh, music and I'm happy also that you mentioned Mang Koko. I was uh, uh, one of this person in the in late 60s uh, get together with Mang Koko in the training center in Jakarta. So I know I know him personally. Uh, my question is uh, your uh, your research on multi tuning system, multi laras, uh, and you said about Uh, creating a particular kind of scale that consists of different tuning system, and uh, I, I would like to know more. Uh, can you elaborate what kind of research you're doing uh, in regard to multilaras? Uh, Sorry about what Mahat. Multi-laras. Mostly laras. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What kind of research you're doing and and uh, yeah, just explain more yeah. about your. <clears throat> yeah, thank you, Pak Sumarsam. Actually, we already met first time in Bali. Yeah, when we there is some seminar and we, I, I introduce you. Maybe you forgot. Oh about that. right, I, but, ICTM. ICTM. But yeah. I always, I always. Uh, remember, yeah, about your book. Yeah, yeah, your book is very in, inspiration for me. Thank you, thank you so much. So, uh, again, about the multilaras, yeah, yeah. Maybe you know, uh, Pak Mahyar Angga Kusuma Binata also okay. already already think about that. And uh, too bad. Yeah, the gamelan what uh, was created by Sumar Sam to to uh, sorry by uh, Amahyar is was gone. Did you hear about the gamelan seventeen uh, 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 tuning from yes, from? Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just have the picture and the uh, poor audio, but this is a brilliant idea. I, I think yeah, this. Uh, But again, when I, I, I see the, the, the physically of the gamelan is very huge and something something uh, uh, challenge for me. But what I, I think, uh, because they still playing the traditional repertoire, because uh, the laras is very complex, but they still use the limit, uh, very limited using just repertoire. For, for, for my opinion, if we create the new instrument, uh, that should be uh, create the new music. Yeah, but of course, the 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 the, the uh, research from Pamayar until now, I'm still researching. I, I already I I already realized with the bamboo instrument, but until now, it still doesn't work because very complex. We 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 have to. To, to 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 find out about the placement, the, the tuning, how we can flexible with the physically, because the, you you know the gamelan not just uh, the especially like in for example penchon, not just put in there, but also this should be more 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 uh, flexible, yeah, like. For example, uh, like the, the 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 structure of tuning between Japanese and Sundanese is different. Yeah, I already try with the South Bank in London when I I would like uh, create this melody and they very very uh, hard to 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 play that. And then I try to uh, use Sundanese structure how to put the pinch on, and that's that's work. This is. Uh, I, I mean, this is interesting how 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 uh, the, the gamelan physically the, the the how to 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 compose the tuning by tuning. This is should be should be connected with the how to play, and and the problem in the gamelan tujuh uh, belas suara suarantara. That uh, yeah, that that's. I mean, uh, from there, I just I just. Thing like like this. What I said, many musician or many researcher just try out to to create new new system from Sudanese side. 
So most of them use diatonic system, Western system. I just, why? Because we know we have a lot of laras. Yeah. And then this is also, also this is my homework, but for now, I just think how we can develop the tuning system, but we, we never change the original. Yeah, because a lot of the audience, when, when we, we, we uh, uh, finish performance, they always ask, this is the new gamelan, uh, Laras? I mean, no, I, I use traditional Laras, but how I can, I, I cannot hear Pelog or Salendro, this is what I mean. So, of course, we agree the Pelog Salendro is beautiful, but for me as composer, I just find out how we can, we can uh, do another way, yeah? To, to tuning the to, to develop the tuning but without the change change the the the, the traditional system All right. and also okay. in the musically also I, I i i i always think how to develop music but we have to to appreciate or to to yeah about the basic the tradition basic is very important for me to develop the the, the music for the next yeah. Yeah. since since your idea of uh, 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 indigenous or uh, tuning system asli, and then you yeah. applying that into uh, Steep Reich piece. Yeah. How, how yeah. do you do it? I mean, uh, Steep I, Reich, I, my little understanding is that Steep Reich is more uh, uh, focused on uh, rhythmic configuration. Uh, if yes. I, I be yes. But, uh, how do you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is the, the 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 opinion from the the the, the Tropen Theater and this festival. They just think this is just rhythmic, but for me it's not rhythmic. It just this is all already. This is harmony, and also like the 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 imbalan atau kotekan also. Not uh, yeah, the harmonic. This should be should because in the structure also they not just develop a rhythmic also develop the harmonic and what what was the interesting thing this is we will see the differences between the resonance and the opportune structure between marimba the original and the gamelan and a lot of people agree with the gamelan is more rich yeah and maybe in the recording not not really repre uh, represent the sound but when we perform in the tropen theater with the high ceiling that is i i hear and the audience agree that we, we can hear something uh, i don't know maybe call something uh, pisco acoustic something something we hear hear sound but we, we never we never produce but the sounds come from the gamelan like yeah this is the amazing the amazing of the gamelan sometimes we, we we just play one note but what we hear is just one note this is other layer not and, and and in in, in the uh, this piece six parties is very work well sometimes we can hear uh, the, the the sound is like moving sometimes go to the air sometimes this is what my experience so but but the, the the simple thing how to adapt i already explained i just to see how how we can uh, we can adapt to more yeah more or less not exactly slim of course but the, the micro tuning and the the the, the, the opportune structure this is uh, the, the uh, what i focus for that so the, the problem is how we can we can transcribe well, like if we have limitation of not like for example in, in the six marimbas there should be go to more high or something else and if poking well, what should be to poking what should be to uh the moon and etc etc and this is the challenge for me i forgot how to do it but until now i'm also still curious i have to research my piece yeah. uh self to to know what's what's going on something like that like Thank you. That's, that, thank you very much for uh, um, the explanation. And I, I know I would like to know more about your work. You have done work with Dieter Mach. You have done yeah. work with the uh, Ensemble Kending. And yeah. yeah, it's very interesting. I'm sorry for being forgetfulness. Uh, I, yeah. I, I, now I remember uh, I'm old man, so. <laughs> no problem, Pastor Marsham. Thank you. You're welcome.
Okay, Alex D has a question. Um, would you like to jump in, Alex? Alex, hello. Oh, there you go. Yeah, now you're unmuted. Uh, thank you, everybody. And uh, sorry that I my video still doesn't work, but. Um, First, I would like to say to Mas Iwan that the uh, work was very beautiful and I, very lovely. I like that it's a modernizing uh, the extension of sounds of the gamelan and really taking it to another space. Um, I have uh, three or four questions. They related more to the performing, uh, performing space and performance rather than just the, uh, the aspect of the sound and your composition. I'd like to know if you can tell me a bit who are the dancers, where are they from, who are the choreo choreographers, and how long did it take the rehearsals? <laughs> because what you did was a very uh, professional and very large enterprise. So I would like to know, like to know more about the background. Okay, uh, I already explained. So we we have the uh, collaboration project since two thousand eleven. Uh, called uh, Ghost Track, yeah, with the uh, Land Rubana Dance Company from uh, Amsterdam. So, actually, the first time uh, they watch our performance in International Gamelan Festival, and then uh, he enters the, the choreographer names is Haryono and uh, Andrea Lene. So that's why I called uh, the, 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 the company is called Lene Rubana is from Haryono Rubana and Andrea Lene. And they're interested to work with the Gamelan. Uh, and yeah, since 2011, we have uh, 100 performance after that, because I don't know, people from Europe is uh, very like uh, our performance. And yeah, we perform in uh, many places. Of course, in, 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 in city in Holland is we will perform about that. Then, but after success, the ghost track, we continue uh, in 2016 uh, with the uh, new project, Live Call. And yeah, I think the, the process is quite long because I already, uh, before I just come in one week, just talk about the ideas and then after we perform in Singapore, perform Ghost Track, I mean, and then we go to Amsterdam one month, just research, and then uh, 2016, start from March, uh, we work again, two months, and then we tour, uh, something like that. Enough? Yeah, yeah, good. Um, one, one, just one thing to follow up a little bit. Um, in terms of the choreographic work, because it takes time for them to really first uh, compose the, the, the dance uh, composition and then to rehearse. So did you send them a recording first or was somehow did you have some uh, fluid uh, conversation? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, of course. Because also I, I create music by a computer. Sometimes I make demo. Also, I, I have uh, my own sample from the gamelan from Ensemble Gending. I sampled and from that, I can create gamelan music in my computer, for example. Of course, it's not, not good, uh, not good yet. But that is, uh, this is just, just demo. I just give some, some, some form how, how uh, they can feel with this music. But yeah, this is just beginning. Just uh, like 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 sketch, like sketch. I send to them, and then we come and we can make some uh, uh, what's called yeah, some research, some rehearsal. But uh, uh, let, let you know, I'm happy uh, work with with them because the 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 one of choreography like Haryono Rubana is not just choreographer, but he is musician also, great musician, and he know. Uh, African music, especially the modern music, and so that's why uh, sometimes the idea is is uh, I mean we work really together 
not just I create music, he cast dance or opposite, but we work starting uh, together. Sometimes they 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 can. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, I mean the the the. the Either of the movement come from music, or sometimes I respond what what, what uh, they they create with the movement, something like that. And let you know also, like my experience in dance music in in in, in uh, Sundanese culture is like daily. Uh, yeah, something like that. So for me, it's not 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 new how to create uh, the uh, music for dance. So. That, that's why we, we have a uh, same spirit and we, we have some left uh, same same level so it's not so not so difficult yeah yeah but of course the process is difficult but I mean how to work work together is not so difficult thank you okay thank you very much very lovely I really enjoyed your videos Okay, um, if there are anybody else that has any questions for anyone, please put the, um, the, the name in the chat box. I guess I'll ask one more question. Um, since you are a modern composer from a Sunda area, but you've also studied in EC in Surakarta, um, what is your opinion on the health of the modern composition community on Java? Uh, compared to say maybe Bali, um, where there's quite a bit of modern uh, composition as well in the, in gamelan music there. My opinion. Yes, that's is, great. Is, <laughs> <laughs> that's great, but yeah, I mean, uh, uh, as same musician, of course. Uh, the 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 the, the pieces like come from from EC the the modern pieces, I what I hear like Wayan Sadra and of course my teacher Supanga very very inspiration uh, for me, but I I still have something different, but that's fine, different I mean different the the goal because when I study in EC. There are some some uh, what I think, and they not not really agree in this, this discussing. Sometimes we a bit fine about that, but when we play with the music, and no problem. That is the, the funny thing. I I, uh, I still still remember maybe Pak Sumar some now uh, Pak Rustopo. Parustopo is is the, the the kind man is very critical, and when I have the new new idea, especially like out from the tradition, when I combine with electronic or something, and they uh, reject my 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 uh, ideas, but when they hear and they watch our performance, that was problem. So I mean, uh, yeah. This is life, yeah. Your as 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 composers, of course, we, we have uh, to find uh, our way, our step. Not should be uh, like easy. Although I study in easy, but I am very appreciate about what uh, the the composer from easy or from Bali, of course. But personally, Balinese people for me is more interesting. Okay. Thank you, Iwan. Um, it's been a pleasure. Um, really happy to have you here, and thank you for sharing uh, your videos. I think there are more videos um, on YouTube. If you want to look up Iwan's work, um, you can search for his name on YouTube, and, and some examples will come up if you want to watch his videos later. Um, do you have any professional recordings uh, for sale or anything like that, Iwan? Yeah, to bed, uh, Matt. This is the, the also the often question. Until now, we, we have a uh, lot of pieces what we uh, had played, not just only this, but the only this, but until now, uh, we don't have the professional recording. So that's why the Jody Diamond was, uh, yeah, uh, what's called, offer me, maybe she can help 
to 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 build this project. Maybe next year after pandemi COVID, we will create uh, some album. Okay, I hope so. All right, Pa Iwan, thank you, and uh, now thank you so much for everybody. Yeah, of course.